First place is number 20, Fred Martin is the deep back, standing at his own five. The kick is off. Martin has it at the four. And he's bursting through, and a good stop made by number nine, Jonathan Haas. Martin may have been gone, but Haas makes his second straight fine play on the special teams, and the Patriots have it first down at the 30. The Blue Devil offense tonight been impressive, and let's not overlook the defense. Lebanon's defense with four shutouts coming into tonight's game. Really five if you want to count the Henry County game, which the only score came on a kickoff return. It's 33 to nothing with 2.10 left in the third quarter. This is Hugel as a hole on the left side. Drugged down by Rick Johnson at the 35. Pickup of about five yards on the play to bring up a second down in five. Pitch back goes to Hugel once again. Gets outside. He's a good running back, but there to jump all over him is number seven, Raymond Shockley, up from his safety position. Hugel picking up only a couple of yards on the play. That'll bring up a third down and two. And with those four shutouts, Lebanon's defense has actually, I believe, improved throughout the season earlier in the year. Opposing tailbacks would take advantage of the Blue Devil defense. I believe the first two or three tailbacks Lebanon faced had 100-yard games, but that hasn't happened in quite a while. And we've seen some pretty good ta tailbacks, including tonight in Rendell Hugel. Hugel has it on the draw. Doesn't get there. Mark Owens, number 33, and Jeff Crutchfield, number 30, on the stop. They're short by about a yard, fourth and one. But the officials aren't that sure, so hold everything. short by about three inches. One, the Patriots are going for it, and Peoples keeps himself. And I don't think he made it. And on the stop, number 30, Jeff Crutchfield. And he may have lost a yard on the play. The Blue Devils saying the ball should be theirs. The officials Still waiting to unpile the players. First down, Lebanon, and he did lose about half a yard on the play. Blue Devils have it at the 39. There was a fumble on the play, but in the pilot... I was saying there was a fumble on the play, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. First down at the 39, with 29 seconds to go in the third quarter. Eckler gives to the fullback Crutchfield. He bulls his way ahead for two or three yards. Stop made by, among others, number 10, Les Newman, as the third quarter comes to an end. With the score, 11 and 33, Oakland nothing. We'll be back for the fourth quarter right after this. Unless you've ever needed an emergency room, you may never have considered selecting one in advance. When minutes count and you only have seconds, it's comforting to know you can depend on University Medical Center. UMC has physicians on duty in the emergency department 24 hours a day and the very latest equipment to take care of medical emergencies. University Medical Center, located at 1411 Bedore Parkway, Lebanon, a National Medical Enterprises health care facility. Now enjoy the ultimate in convenience and versatility with Liberty State Bank's automated teller card. You can use your Liberty State Bank card anywhere in the Money Belt system or the Plus system. And you can use your Visa, MasterCard, or your Discover card in Liberty State Bank's automated teller machine. It's the modern, up-to-date way to bank for people on the move. Just come into Liberty State Bank, open your checking account, and get your automated teller card. Liberty State Bank, 1035 West Main Street, your home-owned community bank, member FDIC.
For quality name brand aluminum and vinyl siding, trim work for brick homes, replacement windows, and carport and patio covers, call Volunteer Aluminum Company. The owner, George Johnson, has been a Lebanon resident for 22 years, and he stands ready to serve you in all your aluminum and vinyl home improvement needs. Volunteer Aluminum Company in Gallatin. In business, 11 years. Phone 449-3023. We start the fourth quarter, and the give is to Patrick C. He is stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. That's McAdoo, number 78, Stephen McAdoo, who makes the stop. And no gain on the play, perhaps a loss of about half a yard. Back to the 38, third down and nine for the Blue Devils. That Jerry Young is into the game now. He's at the slot back on the left side. Number 24, but this is C with the ball. He goes through a hole, which is closed quickly by McAdoo and Newman. Ball marked at the 36. That'll bring up a fourth down and eight. Dotson in the punt for, if I'm not mistaken, his first punt of the night, which says something about how proficient Lebanon's offense has been up till now. Back deep for Oakland. I believe that's Newman back at his goal line, but a flag is down. Lebanon takes a delay of game. Give Dotson a little bit more room. Dotson has been successful at hitting the coffin corner this season. And Oakland, realizing that, declines the penalty. Snap a little bit high, but Dotson has it. Kick, angles it to the right side, but takes an Oakland bounce, and is picked up. With it was Darren Whaley, number seven, who picked it up, and he was run down from behind by a Blue Devil. Jerry Young ran Whaley down from behind, and the Patriots have it first down at the 39. So. The best laid plans, that just took an Oakland bounce, and Whaley almost made something really big happen with it, but a good stop by Young. And it's first down and 10 with almost 10 minutes exactly remaining in the game. Peebles is still the quarterback. And he may start to throw more and more now. He goes over the middle, incomplete. Pass intended for number 89, Gary Hall, the tight end. That'll bring up a second and 10. And we'd like to invite you to stick around for the second game of this morning high school doubleheader as Mount Juliet and Smyrna clash in a key District 9 AAA tilt at Mount Juliet. Dirk Ash will have the play-by-play. Peebles drops back once again. Pass over the middle. Almost intercepted by Jim Adams. Pass intended for Darren Whaley. Adams got one arm on it and nearly had it. Almost had a one-handed interception. But as it is, it's third and 10. Peoples, play action to Hugel, drops it over complete to number 47, Doug Adams. He gets it close to a first down, stop made by Adams, by Jim Adams of Lebanon. Ball at the 47, that'll be short of a first down by about a yard. And on fourth down, I believe we'll see the Patriots go for it. Give us to the tailback, Hugel, he is Stopped behind the line of scrimmage by Freddie Pennington, and it looks from here like he didn't make it. No gain on the play, and a timeout by the officials. They're going to bring the change out again. I don't think there's much need for that, but they're going to do it anyway. The ball is at the 47. It looked like they need to get to about the 48 and a half for the first. 
Blue Devils stop the Patriots on fourth down in the third quarter. And they're short by a yard and a half. First down, Lebanon. 8.55 left in the contest. First and 10, Eckler still in the game. Gives off to Patrick C, who goes up the middle. Fights his way for yardage, but too many Patriots there on the stop. Led by number 44, Pat Garrett, the left end. Second down and eight from the 45. Clock ticking down to eight minutes. 33 to nothing, Lebanon, as the Blue Devils look to run out the clock. This is C on the right side. Gets it close to the 40. On the stop, number 71, Darren Vauder. And they'll spot it at the 41, and time is called. No, I'll take that back, time's not called. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mark Bedley starts to pull some of his starters. Shockley, Eckler, and number 72, Roy Markham, lead the game, and here comes Wayne Rollins out also. Rick Johnson takes over at quarterback for the Devils. And whistles blow. End of the game now for the Blue Devils is number 24, Jerry Young, as the call is illegal motion against Lebanon, and that's perhaps to be expected when they start shuttling in the players late in the game. End of the game now is number 24, Jerry Young. He'll be a flanker. Also in for Lebanon, number 80, Paul Skeen. He's a tight end. Dotson lines up as the tight end on the left side for the Blue Devils. Third down and nine. Johnson pitches back to Patrick C. C doesn't get much. First stop, or first hit made by number 78, Stephen McAdoo. And that'll bring up a fourth down for the Devils. Ball at their own 44. And Dotson will try again to bury a punt into the coffin corner. He has a little bit more room to punt this time than he did the last. Kick is up. And it hits the ground at about the 20 and takes another Oakland bounce. Adams downs the ball at the 22, where Oakland will take over. First down and 10 with 6.13 to go in the ballgame. <laughs> 